Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Racha, Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Ba'asham. Is in the name of Chaha Kodash is the Holy Spirit, and also Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring in this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and a sincerity Shalom. It's your brother Kodash coming back here with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, and uh, the title of the video, Lord willing, is Thou Fool. Okay. Thou fool, you know, and that's coming from the scripture here in uh, Luke chapter 12. Luke chapter 12, and uh, verse starting at verse 16. Luke 12 and 16, it says here, and He spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Thou hast, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But the Most High said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that live up treasure for himself and is not rich toward the most high okay you know so this this rich man was a fool man okay laying up treasures okay laying up his goods and thinking that you know he can take it easy man okay but that verse uh 20 says but the most high said unto him thou fool this night thy soul shall be required of thee okay so you can't take can't take this carnal stuff with you man okay when it's your time to go when it's your when it's time for you you know to go back to the spiritual realm man are you rich towards the heavenly father or are you only rich in carnal possessions man if you're rich in carnal possessions that won't that won't deliver you man okay because we're entering into a time man you know as we say over and over again we're entering into the time of jacob's trouble a time like never before and it says riches profit not in the day of wrath when these nuclear nuclear missiles drop okay it doesn't matter about have you stored up goods America is going to be destroyed man what it says in Malachi let me get that here uh, Malachi Malachi 4 verse 1 it says for behold the day cometh that shall burn as an oven and all the proud yea and all that do wickedly shall be stubble and the day that cometh shall burn them up saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of hosts that it shall leave them neither root nor branch so it shall leave you neither root nor branch so all your all your goods your farm okay anything man is going to be left it's going to be left to burn man Okay, only thing that's going to be surviving these nuclear missiles is uh, what uh, roaches. They say roaches can survive a nuclear missile attack. Okay, and the Lord's going to preserve slaves for the hopeful elect, man. Lord willing, we part of that number. The Lord is going to uh, preserve slaves, man. Okay, and He's going to have you know two thirds of some of them are going to be going to be preserved as well to, to be to be put to death, man. Okay. 
but is all these carnal things, man, that they offer you in the society, it won't be here in the time of, uh, it won't be here when the nuclear missile is hit, okay? And it won't deliver you, man, okay? It won't deliver you from wrath, okay? Let me get this, uh, Proverbs 11 and 4 says, Riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness, but righteousness delivereth, delivereth from death, man. Okay? And so that we got to stock up on faith, man. The Lord is coming back uh, for those that are faithful. Okay? That those that that we're calling upon his name, being faithful, keeping his law, statutes, and commandments to the best of, it, of your ability. Taking heed unto the commandments of the Lord, man. Being separate from this world, man. So you're a fool, man. You're a fool if you trying to store up treasures and think, you know, that's the end all be all generational wealth, man. Thou fool, man. Hey, because when the Lord require your soul, man, you can't. What is what are the what are the, what are those things going to do for you, man? Let me get the uh, the definition for fool. Dictionary.com and it says uh, fool it says a silly or stupid person scripture says our people are saddest children okay our people are foolish man are fools man hey Lord willing we found not to be fools man it says a silly or stupid person a person who lacks judgment or sense okay so you those that don't know the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Shai, okay, you're a fool, man. Okay, you don't know that pork, you know, somebody has said, uh, pork not gonna kill you, it can kill you, man. All right, the wages of sin is death, man. So that's why these people get put to death, man, because they lack judgment, they lack sense. Okay, fools, man. Let me get uh, Proverbs here. Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 20. And it reads, A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. And a lot of people, that's, that's the people, that's the motto in this world, man. Fast money, making haste to, to get rich, man. Okay, we got to make haste to serve Yahweh by Shemiel Shai. So you people are making haste to get rich, man. That's why they, you know, they're that's why they're doing these sinful acts, man. The root, what the scripture says, the, uh, the love of money is the root of all evil. It says, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10. For the love of money is the root of all evil, man. Okay, so that's why these people make haste to get rich. You know, they start hitting licks, scamming, okay, robbing, same as hitting licks, you know, robbing, scamming, killing. Okay, that's what these people do, man. All right, that love of money, man. That's the root of all all types of evil, man. You know? That's why people, when they sell their soul to Esau, they take that, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's two routes, the humil humiliation, okay, or sacrifice. Okay, that is people become sodomites. They sacrifice their family, their friends, their loved ones. Okay? For, that, for what? For that love of money, man. That's the root. Of all types of evil. It says, which while some coveted after, they have 
err from the faith, man. You err from the faith, loving this money, man. Why? Okay, because the Lord, it's a it's an easy thing in the sight of the Lord to make a poor man rich, man. The Lord can make you rich in the snap of a finger, man. So you truly erring, erring, erring uh, from the faith, man. It says, and pierced through, and pierced themselves through, with many sorrows, man. You're gonna be, hey, you done at the end of the day, man. You know, living in pleasure, but you're dead, man. Okay, you're spiritually dead. Let me go back to Proverbs. Let's see if I finished off on it. Proverbs 28 and 20. Kind of, it says, I was reading again, A faithful man shall abound with blessings, but he that maketh haste to be rich shall not be innocent. All right? Making that haste to be rich, man. You're going you're gonna to be doing some wicked acts, man. You, you won't be found innocent before the Lord, man. All right? But if you stay faithful, you know, shall abound with blessings, man. All right, what's that number one blessing we looking for, man? Salvation, man. Okay? And right now, the Lord is going to bless you with wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. To understand these scriptures, okay? And uh, let me get this one here. James, if it be the Lord's will, I'll close with this. This is uh, James chapter 5. I mean... I believe it's James chapter 2 I'm looking for. James chapter 2 come on, James chapter 2 verse 5 it says hearken my beloved brethren have not the most high chosen the poor of this world rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he have promised to them that love him okay and who are the heirs of the kingdom okay starting with the Israelites man and actually first and foremost starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. Okay? Okay, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. Those are the those are gonna be joint heirs with uh with with a Mashiach, how shy, man. Okay, but the Lord has chosen the poor of this world, man, but rich in faith, man. Hey, we rich in faith, man. I, uh, what it says in Revelation is I know thy poverty, but thou art rich, rich in faith. Okay. Cause even at the, uh, in the time of uh, living in and um, uh, when Yahweh Shah was on the scene, man, he was a, he grew up in the slums, man, in the hood. That would be the call today. They call that the hood, Nazareth. All right, that was in the that was in the hood, man, with Jake, man. Rich in faith, though. Okay, hey, we 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 under these curses, man, but we rich in faith, man. All right, the Lord is lifting up these curses, but we're still rich in faith, man. All right, it says, but ye have despised the poor. Do not rich men oppress you and draw you before the judgment seats. You, you see, rich, uh, you know, who's the rich man, the so-called white man? He saw the devil the Bible speaks of. All right, you know, he's he's rich in this world, man. Hey, he poor in faith, though. He, he, it's impossible for him to even have faith, man. Okay. You know, but our people will sell out and they hate the poor on this side, but it's the rich that is oppressing you, man. You know, our people are ass backwards, man. Okay, but we were once in this once in this mind frame, man, but the Lord changed us, man. Okay, it says, Do not they blaspheme thy thy worth? Uh Salaki, it says, Do not they they blaspheme that worthy name by which ye are called? You know they hey, we we're, we're called Hebrew Israelites, man. That's what the Lord called us, man. All right, and they blaspheme that all oh, black, these black Hebrew Israelites, you know, hate group, all types of things, man, you know, and they damn sure they don't accept the names, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shah, okay, you know, but the point was really at verse five, you know, I wanted to read up to verse seven, you know, they blaspheme that name, we had a Jake, aren't you guys black Hebrew Israelites, man, we're not black, man, all right. You know, but, hey, the Lord is choosing the poor of this world, man. Hey, but rich in faith, man. Okay? So you're a fool, man, if you trusting in Esau. You know, that's the mind frame of an Edomite, man. 
Psalms 49 and 10, it says that their houses shall, dwell, shall uh, dwell from generation to generation, man. Okay? So with that, you know, uh, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm going to close and give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Racha, Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David, to the next house of Shalom, and above all, Shalom.